Okay, Bob Schmidt. Yes. Thank you for being interviewed. I just got a few questions. All right. How did you know that God was calling you into missionary service? We had been supporting missions in Romania um, for quite some time at the church I pastored. And we had some missionaries visiting there one evening, and I was preaching from uh, Mark chapter 14 around verse 8. And uh, the verse basically says, uh, talking about Mary when she broke the alabaster jar of, of, of perfume on Jesus' head, said she has done what she could. And the Lord spoke to my heart right at that moment and said, are you doing all you can? You know, basically, yeah, you're supporting a lot of pastors over there and everything else, but are you doing all you can? And I knew I wasn't. I knew that we were uh, willing to do what he was wanting us to do. I mean, I, I knew exactly what it was that he wanted. And for whatever reason, you know, um, my wife has been called for quite a long time to missions. I, I, I fought it for a while. But uh, when he spoke to me like that, I didn't have any choice. My next question is, how long was it when you first received that call till you actually went? We haven't gone. And I know you're, you're still in the process right. of going, but how long has that process taken? When we initially uh, received the call from the Lord, we had to go through the World Missions Department and all of the things that they do. You have to have physical exams, psychological exams, uh, and the things that they want you to do. Uh, you have to get letters from your overseers and, and other people to you know, say that this guy can go. Um, and then you have to go, you have to physically go meet with the World Missions Board. So that, all, all of that process took about a year to get everything done. And from that moment, uh, until now, we have been trying to raise funds, which is the most difficult thing. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be so hard. <coughs> what advice would you give to someone preparing for missionary service? Make sure it's God more than anything else. Make sure it's not emotion. Make sure it's not just someone else pushing you. Make sure it's the Lord, and I think most people would know. And the other thing that I would say is talk with other missionaries. Those, I, uh, I didn't have a clue when I first started doing the, the things that we had to do. And as I started going around a little bit, talking with other missionaries, they kind of helped me in the process. I had no idea what we had to do in the process of doing it. And uh, they helped me immensely. So get up and get together with some other missionaries if it's possible and help them to, or have them mentor you or help you through the process. And, uh, and just make sure it's God. I mean, that's the most important thing. Can you share a testimony of something that God has done in your ministry that you'd call a miracle? I could do several. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just use my family, uh, just in my own family. My youngest son, who is now 14, when he was born, he had severe allergies. He was allergic to everything. Uh, actually, his head, um, he had such bad eczema on the skin, his head was an open sore. Every time he set him down somewhere and picked him up, the pillow was wet because of his, it was just one big scab. And uh, he had been like that for six months and nothing that the doctors tried to do worked. And we would bring him to, to the altar every Sunday to pray for him. And you know, nothing seemed to happen. And one Sunday morning we just earnestly felt like the Lord wanted to do something. And uh, we prayed for him, anointed him with oil. We brought him back that evening and his head was as smooth as a baby's rear end just healed like that, from a complete oozing scab to perfect skin. My son, my older son, was hit by a car outside of church, uh, kind of like the gentleman was talking about today, he flew 15 feet through the air, we picked him up and we brought him into the church, those of us that were left and we prayed for him. Uh, the car was going about 30 miles an hour and he, he flew, not 15, excuse me, he went about 34 feet. Uh, through the air. And we prayed for him, called the ambulance, went to the, the hospital, and the doctor said, what happened to him? Well, he was hit by a car. Are you sure? Yeah. Because there's nothing wrong with him. Nothing. You know, those are just a few of the things that, that God has done in our life. Um, you know, you could, you could talk about more and more and more, and, and so could a lot of other people, but he's just been so wonderful to us. 
Okay, I want to thank you. That concludes this interview. Okay. Thank you.